Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to be learning how to clear your Magento cache. Magento uses a caching system to help your website run faster. Now, these caches are fantastic because everybody likes fast websites. However, if you change details about your products, site files such as adding themes or extensions, then you need to clear out the caches to see the latest changes. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to clear the Magento caches. And Matt, we have a special note, which is if installing or removing an extension from Magento, you should always clear the Magento cache out and remember to log out and log back in again afterwards. Yeah, that's a big tip. If you're watching this tutorial and you've got some problems with an extension, you've been an added one or been a removed one, then you need to clear out all the caches like we'll show you in a few moments time and crucially remember to log out and log back in again. It's like hitting a big reset button. It is indeed. So with that said, let's jump across to Magento and learn how we can do this. We'll see you there in a few moments time. Now to get to the Magento cache management, we need to go to system and then click on cache management. And to clear the caches out is really straightforward. On the left hand side, if you click on select all and then press the submit button on the right hand side. That will take a few moments and you'll receive a green message saying X number of cache types have been refreshed. But don't stop just there. Also remember to press the flush Magento cache. That will take a few moments. Also flush cache storage. Now this one will give us an extra pop-up window and you need to click on OK on that one. Again, that will take a second to clear. And also remember to clear these bottom three caches out as well. So you want to clear out the Magento catalog images cache. So that will clear out any cached images. If you're using Magento 1.9 or newer, then you'll have an extra button in here for flush swatch images cache. So click on that one. And you'll also have an extra button down at the bottom saying flush JavaScript and CSS files and click on that one. And Dave, that's the Magento caches all cleared. Nice and easy. This could actually be my favorite tutorial yet. <laughs> <laughs> Point, <laughs> click. Job done. Just remember, select or submit, then the top two red buttons, and then if it's two or three buttons down on the left hand side and clear those out. And crucially, just let Magento clear the caches out and wait for the page to reload and wait for you to see the new green message or the success message at the top. Even I could do it. Happy days. So from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So for myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt, and me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.